Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Here we'll see how to use Riverpod select properly and how to use it for optimization. So over here I have a list provider and it's coming from state provider. State provider is generating a list of five items and then returning it as, as, returning it as a list and we save it in the list provider. Now over here, those five items, you can see that over here, because we generate the names, names a string, we return them and show it over here using this list provider inside this list view builder. The syntax over here is generating the length and then assign it to item count. But of course, one can ask why you do like this. We can also do it like this, for example, list provider dot length and it should work actually and now let's go ahead and see all right so over here we click on this and we see that it works but it does print a lot of things which also actually shows that it's being built for everywhere i'm clicking all right now this is where select function comes into play now this was our original syntax now what does this tell you it tells you that okay get this list provider whatever provider is that get that one and from that use a select function and inside the select function once again get all the items whatever it is there if it's an object get that object if it's a list get that list and after that over here we say that okay I want to get the length for this list the length and return it now it's not as simple as this it does more than that it also tells you with the select function it's telling you get whatever the list or object is there and over here I'm saying length if the length changes then rebuild the whole page otherwise don't reveal the whole page but at the same time also return the length so that we can use it inside this item count as simple as that one now this time go ahead and restart your app and then you will see I click on this so we see that Fiona it was Fiona and nothing else being printed which means that other places are not being rebuilt so Let's click on Gracie over here and we see that just to Gracie. So nothing else is being rebuilt. So select is a very great property of lit provider, Riverpod provider, and then you can use it to optimize your performance. Okay, so, so far this is how we have used select. Now we can also use a bit differently. Over here we are returning a number but we don't have to return a number we can return something else in different situation you can return different items different variable types so you could do everything you want so let's take a look so over here down over here we have this list provider and we give it an index and based on the index it gives me an item from our list it's like if you have a list uh, based on index you get an item so here we are doing the same thing now instead of using this index over here we can do select so se select over here value and then we do value index so with this it's getting the same list now the list is in value right and we take the index and again the certain item from it now you may ask why we are going to do it well first thing here we have seen that now it can return a string so this returns a string over here and second, whenever you use a select, actually it's pretty performance optimized. So this is the reason you should try to use select because which reduces unnecessary rebuilds of your widget or items on the screen. Yeah, so that's how you go ahead and use a select to optimize your performance. Thank you.